Let's do some math for fun, and this integral is for Professor Churchill. Here we have the integral of 12x plus 17 over 6x squared plus 17x plus 10 times 6x squared plus 17x plus 12, and then plus 2016. It's a really long one, huh? But if you notice, the derivative of this is exactly 12x plus 17. And that matches the top, right? The derivative of 10 is 0, so it doesn't matter. So you may be wondering, okay, let's go ahead and use the u substitution. u is equal to here. u is equal to 6x squared plus 17x and 12 squared plus 10. And then what we get, we can differentiate this real quick. We get 12x plus 17, and then this is the dx, right? And this matches actually the top. And if you want to take this into a new world, go ahead and do so, and this is what you will get. On the top, this and that together is exactly the u. So we need to put that down for you. We have the c2 right here. The first parenthesis is exactly the u, so I already thought this is the u. And then for the second parenthesis, hmm, this right here, they match, but then this is plus 12, and this is plus 10. So that means for the second parenthesis, this term is actually 2 more than u. We have to add 2, so we can get the plus 12, right? So for this, it will be u plus 2, and then we still have the plus 2016. Not bad, huh? And if we go ahead and look at this as the integral, du over, we can multiply this out, we can get u squared, then plus 2u, and then plus 2016. And now, how can we factor that? This is not factorable. How can we continue? You have to complete the square in the denominator and so on. I will leave you guys with this for you guys to try because I actually have a better way for you guys. Okay? So, that is just for you guys to look at. And the reason I stop right here is once again because this is not easy factorable, right? You have to complete the square and to make this integral work. Let me show you guys this way. Instead of letting u is equal to the first parentheses, notice that this and that, here we have plus 10, here we have plus 12. What's in the middle of 10 and 12? It's 11. I am going to let, so this is my legitimate way, so I'm going to just like draw another line. This is the way I'm going to show you. I am going to let u equals to 6x squared plus 17x. So far they match, but I will add 11 right here. Take the middle. You will see, when I differentiate, I still end up with 12x plus 17 dx. So this is still good. That still matches the top. And now, when I take this integral into the u world, I will just write it down here. Okay? We will end up with, still on the top, we have the du, right? And you can also put parentheses, it's up to you, I don't really mind. For the first one, this is plus 10, this is plus 11. That means here we have one less than u, right? So for the first parentheses now, it will be u minus 1 with this choice of u, right? Minus 1, and then from here you have the plus 10. And then for the second parentheses, this is plus 12, this is plus 11. We need to have u plus 1, and then we still have the plus 2016. Why is this much better? Because now you see, uh, let me multiply out uh, the bottom. This is just u squared minus 1, right? This times that, so u squared minus 1, and then we still have the plus 2016. And I like to put down the 1 on top and then the d on the side, so let me do it right here for you guys. And you will see, this is the integral. 1 over, we just have u squared now, minus 1 plus 2016 is of course plus 2015, and this is still u. How can we solve this? Well, there's a really nice formula, right? We can use this formula, and let me put this down for you guys. We know that whenever we have the integral in the form of 1 over some function u squared plus some constant a squared du, this is going to give us, this is something that we should know, 1 over a times the inverse tangent of u over a. I'm not going to put on plus e yet, because this is just the formula part I want to uh, illustrate. Well, look at this. We have u squared, and here is 2015. We have to look at this as something to the second power. So it's okay, we can look at this as parentheses, and we can take this as the square root of 2015. And then square, right? So that means that will be my a, isn't it? So now, this is going to give us 
um, 1 over a, right? So we have 1 over a is that square root of 2015 times the inverse tangent. U is just u for now, right? So let me just write down u over a is once again that square root of 2015. That's the integration part. And we are done with the integration, but we are not done with the original integral yet because we are still in the u world. u is this, okay? I didn't continue with that, so u is this. At the end, all I have to do is plug in this into this u. So finally, we will have 1 over square root of 2015 times the inverse tangent. You can also write down as arctangent if you like. u is that 6x squared plus 17x plus 11 all over square root of 2015. And we are so done. So at the end, we put a plus c. And of course, I would like to box the answer for you guys. And hopefully, Professor Churchill, you like my explanation. Black and